Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Yancey Medeiros versus Demir Hadzavik. And how I see this one right here is both of these guys are skidding. Medeiros on like a three fight losing streak and Hadzavik's on a two fight losing streak. Hadzavik seemed like his last two fights have been to grappling. Last one was a submission loss. And then prior to that, got a, um, you know, grappled out wrestled by Demir Hadzavik. And when I really look at, um, Hazavik, I mean, I say he got I wrestled by himself. He got wrestled by Giagos, Christos Giagos. But again, when I look at um, Mir Hazavik, I don't really see any true specialty. Like he's a, like a, I guess he has decent physical strength. He has some power, got some good knees. But outside that, just a fighter that's just decent at best in all areas. And grappling could use some work. And the only time he uses grappling is when other fighters don't like their grappling is severely questionable. And this one, I feel like Medeiros is a better grappler than him. I feel like he's a better boxer than him. Yes, he's on three fight losing streak, and probably a better chin on um, what's his name on Demir Hazavik's side. But heart is definitely in um, Medeiros' side. Medeiros got a lot of heart. Chin might be very paper thin, but heart is unquestionable. But this one, I just feel like Medeiros is. The, has fought better company. Yes, he's on three fight losing streak, but literally all the people he fought have been people that have either been at around the top or will be around the top. Like Gregor Gillespie, Con I said Conor McGregor, Gregor Mal Gillespie, Donald Cerrone. He's fought some real studs, and this whereas um Gless I mean whereas um Hazavik has fought guys that are decent but middle of the pack at best, and lost to decent or beat in the middle of the pack at best, and barely even that really. So in this one, I just think probably be a fun, exciting fight, but I just think Medeiros has all the intangibles and all the skills, so I'm going to lean to him to get this, the victory in this one. But again, hard is good, but again, you got all the hard in the world to get your light put out, but I don't, I'm not, I don't rate Hazavik, and even Hazavik has, I don't rate it all that high. I don't. So I'm just going to lean to Medeiros in this one. I think it's a fun, exciting fight. But Madero's really one of the most part keeps his fighters people in an easily stuff to take downs or address the takedowns of Hazavik because he was even able to, you know, give um, Gillespie a good bit of um, response to his um, grappling in their fight, be to his wrestling. Even though he wasn't so successful at it, he was able to at least give him some issue for some time and wasn't just uh, this falling down or just laying down for Gillespie. He was actually defending well. He trains with trains are still trained trains or have trained with Max Holloway so you know that kind of similar training is with him so his takedown defense is pretty solid he's good at defending some wrestling and Hazavik is a low tier wrestler at best so I feel like he can stuff his takedowns and dress his takedowns maybe mix some of his own takedowns I'll box Hazavik do I see him stopping Hazavik? I don't but a fun exciting fight with um, Maderos out striking Hazavik out working out lasting and beating Hazavik to a decision. So in this one, I got Yancey Medeiros by decision.